Hello again. Today we're gonna go ahead and do is just create a simple button. Um, so we have our blank screen here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a background. So I click on the screen, go to the far right to the attribute. It says no background, so I'm gonna add one. So I'm gonna click on image. Uh, normally it doesn't have one. So what you would do is you go double click on the pick and it would give you this, this screen here, which is select a picture and you would select your picture, of course, click OK and it would go to this. So let's look at one way to adding a button. Um, for one, as we can do just a simple button, let's just add one simple one here. We can click on button and it'll give us this little screen here. So we're gonna grab it and then shape it. And we'll put it in the middle of the circle here. So what it does, it just gives you a, gray, a gray screen here. If you go ahead and compile it, let me see, let me show you what it does. I'm sorry, debug it. Let's go to debugging. What it does, it just gives you this screen here. Let's fix that to where it gives you the picture. So you're gonna click on the button if you look on the far right here on the attribute, it says on the STA solid color, you want to change that. And what we want to do is we want just a circle on there. So we're going to do the crop image. We need two pictures here because that's what it re requires. So we're going to select this one, double click the pick two and this one. And then on here, it still says new text. If you can barely see it, when I get that removed, scroll down and then here it is, delete that. So if we click on our screen, you'll see the new text disappear. And we have the circle in the foreground here. So let's check it, go to debug. Nice. So let's make it do something. So we'll click out of that. So let's make it make a new page here. I'm gonna go to the page far left. You're gonna go to add. Then it goes to page one. So if we clicked it, it's gonna go here. So let's go back. Where is it? Go back to the page. Select page zero. We're gonna click on the button. You have two options here. One touch press event, the other one touch release event. Touch press event is when you touch it, it'll go to the screen. The touch release event means when you release the button, then it'll go to the screen. Um, I like to have the code sent on both of them. You'll see what I mean. A little bit here and then touch press event. I like touch press event. When you touch the screen, it automatically goes to um, page the next page. So we want for it to go to page one. So we write down here, page one. I'm sorry, we went one. Done. So we want to debug it. We have an error here, invalid command page. Let me see if I'll take the page, page one. Okay, so it wants it as page, page one. So we have our button here, and if we clicked it, 
it goes to page one, which is just blank. We didn't do anything to it. And then we get the um, the code here. Um, we get, well, let's only get one code. We should be getting two. Should be two codes. There's one. Unless, let me see here real quick. Control exit and under release. Okay, it's on the release. On the release, you get the two codes. So exit of that. But still, I'd like to leave it at that, just in case later on in the future I change my mind. So this is one way of doing it, is by using the crop image. Let's say I decide I want just the whole image. So that would be different. So let's delete this button. And for that, you would have to remove this entire image or else you'd be wasting too much memory. So you kind of have to think ahead of time in your memory. Change back no attribute, change no background. So if I want this just as a whole button, I would go to button. Expand it. I'm going to take off that new text. And then my pictures. Wait a minute, that's color. I need to change it from s solid color and go to image. This one. Let me see if it'll take it like that. No, it's got to have the second picture. Okay. And then click on picture two, select its image. And then go to debug. So this time it's the whole image, so I can select anywhere. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't take it. I forgot to put the um, press event. Send component, I like touch one. Page, page one. Like the code here. Go back to debug. Page one. Ah, this time I didn't like the page page one. Just as a page one, so I love the other page. This time I took it. Now this time it will go anywhere on the screen is a button. So let's say if I click down here, then it'll just go to the next page. Now, that's it. That's just another way of adding, a simple way of adding a button here. Yeah, let's go a little bit further today. Let's go to page one. Since there's nothing here, let's create a, let's add a button, make it go back to home. Let's just say here. Go back to the attribute and I want to do a solid color and pick a color. Let's say like a magenta. And 
text. We'll go to text and write home. Capital M E like caps edge all M E. Let's see what that looks like. Home. Okay, good. So now it's a button. Selecting the button. I want the send component ID, and we're gonna send it to page one. I'm sorry, page zero. Page zero. Done. So debug. What uh, error invalid command page zero double click to jump to code double click so I didn't like that page page zero there we go so, so at this point it's like this it goes to the page one. And then here's the button. So if you select anywhere in the white, it doesn't work. Select the, the color at home, and it goes back to page zero. Simple as that. All right, then you have a good day.